but we're facing a very challenging time of democracy. Half of the country is very sure that what we need to do is to create democracy, and the other half thinks that it's going to be dictatorship from now on. Who's, who's not Jewish, by the way? What's your name? Sebastian. Sebastian. Okay, please. Uh, roughly 2,000 years ago. That's when, <laughs> that's when the story started. Your ancestors. Yeah, your ancestors. Came here and kicked us out. Nebuchadnezzar, you heard this name? He kicked us out to Babylon. Only the Jews that survived seven years after came back to build the second temple. This temple got kicked out by the Greek and they kicked out to Europe. That's why we have Ashkenazi Jews and Mizrahi Jews. That's the main story of brown Jews, white Jews. They are brothers and sisters to us. They're siblings. They're siblings. You siblings? <laughs> you understand my English? No, or not at all? Nothing? Guys, the joke is on you, don't you? Uh, you pay to see this, don't they? I know, I know. Anyway, two main Jews right now on the planet. Ashkenazi Jew, Mizrahi Jews. Okay? Now, most of the time they get along. They, they try, okay? The big problem here, that the Ashkenazi Jews always feel themselves better than the Mizrahi Jews. They always act like they are better, because they are. <laughs> <laughs> but they should pretend that they're not, right? Guys, feel free to get offended, but for my defense, I can say, my father is Ashkenazi, my mother, she's Moroccan. I can do any jokes I want. My Ashkenazi father always tell me, you are the Moroccans. I'm your son. <laughs> Some people will tell you, yes, but it's not the same amount of judges that they are Mizrahi as the Ashkenazi judges, which is true, and it's not fair. In the other hand, you need to send the Mizrahi people to go and study. <laughs> Both parties very proud of the fact that they have Mizrahi people there. However, both parties led by Ashkenazi people. <laughs> <laughs> now we're fighting against each other who will control the tyrancy and that is supposed to be here in the, the next month. <laughs> Benjamin Netanyahu said, let's pause it. We rather, let's pause and decide. Let's do it abroad. Let's do talking. And everybody decided it's a good time to stop the madness because the stack of the money people losing money. <laughs> when people try to kill each other, no one cares. But the money stacks, hey, hey, let's stop it. <laughs> so what they decide that they're going to go to the president house. In Israel, we have not only prime minister, we also have president. He's not supposed to do a lot, but now he's very busy. I don't know why. <laughs> the president name is Herzog. He is not uh, the most charismatic person you ever met. You know snails? <laughs> he's cute, I love him. I love this guy. But he's not qualified to solve the, even simple. He is the main charge of solving this problem. He has charisma of a substitute teacher. <laughs> when he speaks, he doesn't know he spoke. <laughs> It's, this is very low. Sometimes they wait for him for 40 minutes that the meeting will start and he is in the room. <laughs> He's a cute guy. I love him. But the main reason that they put him a president that they won't do anything. And now he needs to deal with that. Okay, guys, if he's not here, we'll start. I'm here. If he's not here in the, ten, the next minute. <laughs> this brother war is so stupid that both sides have the same flag. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know who's uh, who. Luckily, their skin color is different. <laughs> I hope I explained it. Uh, you, uh, you have any questions? No? I don't know.